It's really weird, but I loved Mandy Moore. My co-star at the time, I was on a soap opera, was Brittany Snow, who kind of maybe knew her, sort of. And I was like, can you give her my number? And then I don't, I don't think she ever, oh, or she never called me. Ugh. <laughs> There's, it's not even a scary movie, but do you remember Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom? I remember I used to watch that as a, as a young kid. And there's one scene where the guy goes up to Indiana Jones and he's doing this thing and he's gonna rip his heart out. I would literally have tremors at night. and My mom would have to come into my room because I would be thinking about um, this heart gag with Harrison Ford. It was like a week ago, so. I've never done karaoke in my life. You know what? I've done karaoke. One and only time I did it. At a bar mitzvah. Vanilla Ice, Ice Ice Baby. Yeah, I was like 13. Isn't that when bar mitzvahs happened? I thought I was like a hip hop artist apparently when I was 13 years old. So I'd wear these pants that were so massive. I used to go visit my relatives in Europe or Poland and they'd be like, they literally wouldn't bring me out in public. I grew up playing ice hockey, and um, my father and I went to a game at Madison Square Garden to see the New York Rangers, and I was like a diehard New York Rangers fan. And I was sitting in like the nosebleed seats, and this woman worked for the Madison Square uh, MSG, and she saw me with like a Marc Messier uh, jersey on. He was like the captain of the team at the time, and I was like screaming, cheering. I guess she found me endearing, and she went down into the locker room, got Marc Messier's autograph, and it came up and gave it to me. And, it was like the greatest moment of my life and I still have that <laughs> autograph. <laughs>